What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to my very first day transfer video because you guys smashed a like target yesterday and uh, you don't in style, don't very, very quickly. So from now on, probably until deadline day, a transfer video every single morning. Yesterday in my video, I did ask, should it be 8 a.m. uploads or 10 p.m.? And I'm pretty sure like a massive majority said early morning uploads. I'm fine with that. So keep an eye on your sub box between 7.30 and 8 a.m. every single day. And somebody did point out in the comments yesterday by saying um, the people that are currently at school, 7.30 does suit them a lot better than 8 a.m. because they can watch it just before they head to school rather than watch it when they come back. So I'll keep that in mind. I think next week is half term, but after that, I will stick to 7.30. But very quickly, just before we get started, as always, we can show your support by smash a like rating for transfer videos. 1,000 likes to the target yet again. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video. And finally, if you missed my previous video, be down below in the description box. Also in the comments below, who do you want your team to sign next season? Let me know down below. So the very first one today is a confirmed transfer, and that's Pablo Zabaleta going to West Ham United from Man City on a free transfer. Man City yesterday did release a lot of players, including Clichy, Asanya, uh, Willy Caballero, Navas, and Zabaleta was a couple of weeks before that. But a lot of players going, but today, or yesterday now, Man City signed someone absolutely huge with Zabaleta going to West Ham. Then we've got Antonio Valencia signing a new contract at Manchester United, a two-year deal with an option of a third one, just after winning the Europa League with Manchester United. And to be fair, he had a very good season for United, of course, got a team season card. Then we move on to Gattuso, the legend himself, going back to AC Milan this time as an under-19s coach for two seasons. It's very cool to see him going back there. There's also two more managerial changes. First up, is it going to be Marco Silva? A few days ago, he resigned as the whole city manager, but now he's in talks with Watford and could be completed in 24 to 48 hours. And the other one is going to San Paoli, going from Sevilla to become the Argentinian national team manager. And I think that's one of his like massive lifetime goals. He's completed now, and maybe he can help Messi finally get that international trophy. And we've already had a massive confirmed transfer, and that is going to this man right here, Bernardo Silva going to Manchester City. Yesterday's video, he was linked to Manchester United. So I think about 8 a.m. this morning, it like he was going to Manchester. It just said Manchester, everyone was like, you know what, he's going to United, but no, he's gone to City. And it is pretty incredible by Manchester City for the simple fact that transfers nowadays, newspapers find out all the time and it kind of leaks stuff. But this one, again, completely under the radar. It's a five-year contract from AS Monaco, and there's three different fees going around right now. The first one, BBC Sport, do say £43 million. A couple of sites in France are saying £60 million, and some other English media are saying £70 million. So either way, there's, there's a big gap there. But in regards to quality, Man City there have got a fantastic creative player. Now we go on to the first potential deal, and that is going to be Bertrand Traore, although he's currently owned by Chelsea anyway, but according to London Evening Standard today, Traore is hopeful he has done enough to secure a place in Chelsea's first team squad for next season after a loan spell out to Ajax. And with Chelsea being back in the Champions League, it would make sense to have someone like Traore as a potential backup um, for the other wingers. They'll play a lot more games next season, and it'll be quite cool to see how well he does. Then we go on to Moussa Dembele of Celtic into Milan today, according to Sky Sports Italia. So it says Milan are reportedly interested in a Celtic star striker who scored 32 goals in all competitions this season. The 20 year old has also been linked to a Premier League move in recent weeks and last summer was linked to a move to Spurs. And I think at this point in time, Celtic will definitely struggle to keep hold of him with so many offers for him and especially a lot of big fees. Then we go on to the next one, and that is William Carvalho, the Portuguese star, linked to Newcastle United. That is according to Ojogo, and on top of that, a site called Record, or a newspaper called Record, says Newcastle United are plotting a £39 million bid for sporting midfielder William Carvalho this summer. It's a huge fee, and if he goes or not, again, we'll have to wait and see. I think back in January, West Brom tried signing him, so Newcastle may have a bit of a competition there for his services. Then we move on to Chris Wood, but it's not about him. It's about Leeds United in general. So right now, currently managerless because Gary Monk left yesterday after resigning. According to ESPN today, Claudio Ranieri is wanted by Leeds United to replace him. And that'd be a very good step because Ranieri, obviously now he's a massive name after the fantastic season last year at Leicester City. Then he got sacked because things weren't really going too well. But for a club like Leeds United, they want to get back to the Premier League finally. And I think Ranieri, he can help do so, especially bring in some other names. So it's not all doom and gloom there for Leeds United um, at this point in time. 
Then we got on to this next one, which is going to be Benjamin Mendy. It's a Manchester City and Manchester United today. According to RMC, they're batting it out with a 45 million euro bid. Well, that's how much I went to pay for him. The article also does suggest three other clubs are in for him, two from the Premier League and one in Spain, which could be Real Madrid apparently. Now we go on to the next one. This one's actually quite hilarious. That's Aso Cotto, formerly of Spurs and linked to Birmingham today, but it's quite a strange one. So Birmingham City boss Harry Redknapp has admitted he's considered signing Benoit Aso Cotto. And this quote right now has actually cracked me up. It does say he could end up at Birmingham next year. The only trouble is he wants to be a porn star. That is a genuine quote, by the way. It's no lie there. It's straight from a podcast apparently which had him on uh, called The Spurs Show. So he says, I got a phone call. Mr. Redknapp, I've got a fantastic player for you. One year old players at Benoit. I'm thinking, yeah, somewhere inside you think you can get him going again. The only trouble is he's admitted he wants to be a porn star. At first when I saw it go around on Twitter, I was like, that's gotta be a troll. That cannot be real. But apparently it's on Sky Sports as well. So no idea what's happening there. Uh, he may stay in football. He may not, we'll have to wait and see. Now we got on to Thorgan Hazard. So Hazard linked to Arsenal, but not Eden. It's his brother. It's a very short one. The source is going to be Jean uh, for two. I've definitely said that one wrong, but it says Arsenal eyeing a move for Borussia Mönchengladbach winger Thorgan Hazard. No fears been mentioned, and right now Arsenal they pretty much signed quite a few players this summer because they're in the Europa League and they may well lose like Sanchez and possibly even Mesut Özil. Then we go on to Douglas Costa linked to the Arsenal's rivals today, Tottenham. It's a corner to Calcio and Mercato. They said Tottenham and Manchester United are both interested in signing Douglas Costa from Bayern Munich this summer after the winger really doesn't look too happy there after the lack of game time this season. And with Bayern Munich looking to be very busy this summer, I think Douglas Costa could well be on his way out there and potentially come to the Premier League and that for FIFA alternate team wouldn't be half that bad. Now we got on to Ross Barkley. I mentioned it yesterday as like a standoff between him and Royal Coman about staying at Everton. But now apparently Everton have offered him a five-year deal um, on the table, basically. But Ross Barkley is having another standoff with the club this time over the amount of wages offered to him. So right now, I think Barkley will stay at Everton. We'll have to wait and see. I think if Gilfie Sigerson does go through and go to Everton, Barkley, I'm pretty sure will definitely be going. Now we go on to the next one, which is going to be Wayne Rooney linked to the CSL, the Chinese Super League, according to the Daily Mirror. Manchester United striker Wayne Rooney is set for a lucrative move to the Chinese Super League this summer. The 31-year-old forward has got two offers from China that will be worth £50 million in salary over just two seasons. So £25 million per year offered to him. I think he may take that. The only thing about it, he's also linked to return back to his boyhood club, Everton. That could happen. Again, we'll have to wait and see what happens to Ross Barkley and at Gilvy Sigurdsson. Now we move on to Alvaro Morata. Yesterday was linked to, was it Manchester United? Also linked to him again today, according to Marco. It basically says United will look to include Alvaro Morata in a potential deal should Real Madrid come back in this summer for David De Gea in the close season. A few was mentioned, I think they were like 71 million pounds or something if De Gea goes straight to Madrid, but it's like, I think it's 32 million pounds and Alvaro Morata. But according to Gazzetta Dello Sport, Real Madrid striker Alvaro Morata, a target for Chelsea, is close to agreeing a £52 million move to AC Milan. And Milan are definitely in a rebuilding stage now. They've got the Europa League, I think, for next season. So they've got something to build upon and have to spend big. And they have already signed Mustachio from uh, Villarreal. And I think there's a couple of other names like Ricardo Rodriguez also in the line. Now we've got on to Renato Sanchez at Linti Juventus today, alongside Douglas Costa, according to Corriere Dello Sport. Juve are looking to strengthen their side even more ahead of a new Serie A season and reportedly see the pair as prime transfer targets. It's not the first time I've seen Renato Sanchez linked to a move away from Bayern. Um, personally, I think Bayern should probably loan him out, maybe to someone like AS Monaco in the league arm because they've got a great youth setup, um, a lot to build upon now for next season after winning the league already. Um, and I mean, players like Mbappe, they may stay, they may go, but bringing someone like Renato Sanchez in, they play nice football on top of it, it just help him. And if he was to go to Monaco, imagine a FIFA 18 career mode, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, Mbappe, Rato Sanchez, a Euro Tillemon, so many youngsters in that team that have world-class potential. And now a very short one according to Don Ballon. I'm pretty sure I worked out last time that's based in Spain. It says Real Madrid are eyeing a move for Juventus defender Leonardo Bonucci this summer. That's all it says, no fee and nothing on top of it. But Bonucci right now, I think could well move because I think earlier on this season, had some kind of argument with the manager. And now we've got Naby Keita. By the way, look at that team season card. One of the best cards you'll ever see in FIFA Ultimate Team history right there. Um, but aside from that, last couple of weeks, say the last month maybe, he has been linked to Liverpool. 
So the first part is according to Melissa Reddy. She does work for Goal.com, who aren't very reliable, but she in general uh, tends to be very reliable in regards to Liverpool Football Club uh, on Twitter and such. So we'll have to wait and see. By the way, what it does say is that Liverpool remain in a strong position to sign Naby Keita this summer, and an asking price in the reach of £50 million would not deter them. Liverpool would also be fine with Naby Keita's personal demands given his status as a priority target, and talks between Keita and Liverpool's camps have been very positive, and there is cautious optimism over convincing him to join. Liverpool prepared to surpass their £50 million figure multiple times this summer to enhance their quality and competition in the squad ready for potential Champions League football. But it's not just him linked to us today, it's also the next player, Van Dijk from Southampton. Van Dijk has not committed to Liverpool, but the discussions have indicated they're currently favourites to recruit him this summer. So it isn't just Melissa already saying this, in fact, Damasio has mentioned as well, saying £50 million each is about right. Other clubs, of course, are going in for both players, so it could be quite difficult to get them, but Klopp really wants these two reinforcements. Next up, we've got some better news for Arsenal this time, and that is according to Daily Mail at least, Arsenal have offered Alexis Sanchez a new contract worth £270,000 per week amid interest from Bayern Munich earlier this week. And we'll have to wait and see now because he may want to play Champions League football next season. I don't really blame him, um, but if he does stay again, a fair play to Arsenal if they get that done. Now we've got on to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang of Borussia Dortmund, but for how much longer? We'll have to wait and see according to Build. They are claiming that Aubameyang has informed Borussia Dortmund of his desires to leave the club this summer and saw that Dortmund will demand 85 million euros for the Manchester City target, but Real Madrid and AC Man and PSG are also interested. And on top of that, you also have the interest uh, from the Chinese Super League. Now the second to last one today is going to be Angle Di Maria. I think I mentioned it probably about a couple of weeks or so ago now, uh, but linked to Inter Milan. Di Maria could be moving to Inter Milan this summer, and Juve apparently also interested in Bar Inter offering 50 million euros for the winger. And on top of that, they're saying Perisic could move in the opposite direction from Inter to Paris Saint Germain, according to Corre Dello Sport. And the final one today is going to be Antoine Griezmann. Now, I think this time last year is probably Pogba in every episode. And Griezmann could well be the same, or at least for the next couple of weeks, because I'm recording this on Friday night, and Pogba put something on Instagram yesterday, and Griezmann has liked it. It's basically Pogba doing Griezmann celebration at the hotline bling, and hinting that it could be a Manchester United link-up for next season. The United midfielder also included the caption saying next season, in his video suggesting Griezmann's transfer to Old Trafford could be on the cards. But who knows guys, we'll have to wait and see if Griezmann does join United, I'm pretty sure it'll happen. It's just about when really. So that's going to be the end of this video guys. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. Again, 1,000 likes is the target for today's video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. Also, click the notification button next to it to be notified whenever I upload a video. And also comments below, who do you want your club to sign this summer? And finally, if you missed yesterday's video, down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.